Meanwhile, Shadwin was on her way to murder the king. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I see. The assassin. Yeah, so she picks up the little girl. So the little girl wasn't a witness. She was a passenger of sorts. Mm-hmm. I get it. Let's see. Does anybody else think the rewind is creepy? Oh, man, I think the rewind is super creepy. Like, the, the way the music is handled. At the same time, I'm so glad it's a mechanic. I loved it in Braid. You've never seen Braid, have you? I don't believe so, no. Okay, it's like a Mario-style platformer. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I should probably point the microphone a little bit more at you. Actually, you know what? Let's scoot you a little bit more over. There we go. Scoot, just scoot. Load screen is a little bit quiet. Okay, so we've got to jump. Action pose. (laughs) This is not flattering. No. Oh. Okay, there we go. Towards the chapel, find a secret passage to town. Chadwin can jump with A. I mean, the other guy could jump with A, too. It just wasn't great. Crafting schematics for a grappling hook in one of the houses. Now, can I also attack? Don't know what that is. Anyway, chest. Next loot, we get... It won't tell me what these are. Probably the schematics, but I could be wrong. Yeah, well, it says you found schematics for a grappling hook. Oh, hey. Nice. Okay. Uh, Open my inventory. Schematics. So you need a leather belt, which you do have rope and so arrow. So I need, yeah. Two belts. Okay. Two belts, rope, arrow. Okay. Yeah, this is really cool. So you probably didn't hear any of the controversy with, uh, with like, the Trine series, did you? No. What was that? Uh, so they made Trine 1 and then Trine 2, which was great. Um, and then they made Trine 3, which is actually a third-person action game, not unlike this. But, you know, closer to the basic Trine mechanics. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people got really angry at them because Trine 3 wasn't very good, in everybody's opinions. Like, it wasn't... How so? Well, I mean, it wasn't a 2D side-scroller anymore. Suddenly I it was, like, 3D. They changed format. With, mm-hmm. like... Yeah, they changed formats. And they also didn't finish the game. And it was the first game of the entire series, I believe, to go through early access. Right. Well, from... I've noticed that it's a trend lately with games where... They do early access almost as a means to fund the rest of the game. Yeah. I actually don't mind that in a lot of cases. I probably missed one of these houses. I'm going to have to go back and check. I'm just getting that itchy uh, feeling that one of these chests... Uh, one of these houses had a chest in it. So similar because they're all burnt husks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know I missed something. Still enough for level somewhere. Yep. Figured I'd be missing something. And do you have the rope, or...? Ah, uh, no, I'm still missing the rope. So that's probably up ahead. Unless it's hiding in one of these or behind one of these, I'm not entirely sure. So let's go look around for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, Nothing, don't see anything back there. Let's see. But, um, so everybody was mad at them. I actually really liked Trine 3. I thought it was really fun and kind of inventive. And I enjoyed the transition to 3D. Mainly because the game was, like, infinitely more breakable. Because you remember in Trine how, like, 90% of it was physics puzzles, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So, you could, like, break them harder. So, we were trying to do, like, a log puzzle where it's supposed to, like, make a counterweight. And and in the end, we ended up, um, lodging the counterweight. Uh, we broke the entire counterweight system. And we spent, like, ten minutes trying to break the puzzle, and eventually we figured it out. But it was probably some of the most fun I've had in a long time playing a video game. Mm -hmm. Uh, till Scrap Mechanic, because it was just so broken and well can she actually grab onto yep. that yeah good oh so nice automatic ledge climbing i hate games that don't have ledge grabs and ledge climbs well i think you have all the ingredients don't you oh uh, yep uh let's see oops you need to go to the next one to select uh, what oh what oh i automatically completed it okay oh. Right. Now have the grappling hook. Use the grappling hook to reach the village at the top of the hill. Before we do that, though... Oh, I press I press B. Question, do I take fall damage here? No. I want to check out what's in this dilapidated shack first. Who knows? Could be useful. Haven't seen any skeletons or burnt corpses or anything. Yeah, for an area that's uh, supposedly like... Well, I mean, this area has definitely seen better days. What are those stones? Gravestones. Yeah. Dead people. Sorta. Of. Well, we found the skeletons. They're just... I guess we need to craft a shovel next to find them. Yeah, there's a broken cart. Who's this? It's a shell. It's like a random shell. That's funny. Can we go swimming? 
You can go swimming, but I don't know where you go. I will admit this is not exactly the most um, solid of swimming mechanics I've ever seen. It, it is pushing mechanics. against you, isn't it? Hmm? No, I, I can go as far as I want out. I'm sure I'll hit like an invisible wall or drown or something. But it's nice to see there is a swimming mechanic. Oh, don't go backwards while swimming. Looks really weird. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice to see that they actually allowed hey, for swimming in this those game. Those look like they're going to be things you're going to have to Oh yeah, I'm going to be grappling them. across all of those. That's that's a given at this point. There's you know no what? diving? You know what? I, I couldn't figure out if there was diving. diving. My assumption is that didn't seem relevant to the gameplay. Though it would make sense from like a sneaking perspective. Maybe we'll unlock it later. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is pretty slick. I'm trying to figure hey, out what this these... looks like the similar things to what was at the other side of the cliff by the castle. So obviously she's headed that way. All right. <laughs> so you have to go back. Up clearly, to the what they've done. Actually, let's just go back instead of trying to like come back out. Let's try this again. Okay, so clearly what they've done is they took the mechanics from the thief and, um, mm -hmm. the thief in Trine, and then made it into a third-person action game. They just wanted to make one for her. Just a whole game. Eh. That's okay. You need to actually just hook... Oh, right. I just remembered. You need to pull yourself up further, right? Or, yeah, it's like Spider-Man, except. So the trick is. The, 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 the grappling hook doesn't make sense in the fact that if you wedged an arrow into the wood, you wouldn't be able to retract it. Shh. Hey. Okay. Trine physics. They totally just made the Trine Thief the game. And I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with this. All right. Like, uh, did you play the thief at all when we did play Try and I honestly I, I can't I remember. I think I only played as her, because she was the female character available. She was very solid. And a lot of fun to play, in my opinion. And now they've made it with weird time stoppy mechanics. And really nice music. Okay. Well, okay, it's a little awkward. I'm going to be honest here. You these, sleep off that. <laughs> these mechanics, not exactly the... The, uh, the most solid. But I'm okay with that. Whoops. Mm-hmm, that would've been bad. Let's see if we can, there we go. <laughs> you can just grappling ho hook onto this. Man, stealth games are a hell of a lot easier when you uh, introduce time stop at all times. <laughs> Seriously, I would In actually... In any other game, you would have just fallen and had to have done that all over again. Oh, absolutely. I, I, this has already sold me on the best stealth action game I've ever played. Screw you, Metal Gear Solid and or uh, Dishonored. You guys <laughs> just... Dips. You guys clearly just don't know what you're doing. In comparison to Shadwin. I may have made a mistake here. Oh. Or there did you I? Are. Perfect! Oh, this is so satisfying. Okay, you can throw the grappling hook while you're jumping in the air. I do feel like these tutorial messages are starting to become a bit condescending. Oh, I see. Well, at least this part of the town looks inhabited. There are still lamps. <laughs> I do wish they gave her a different facial expression as opposed to just blank. Uh, She's an assassin. She is, but that doesn't mean that she would react to all situations with the exact same blank, mildly disconcerting, wide-eyed stare. Yeah, you would think that you would grimace a little bit if you were exerting a lot of, you know, your arm strength holding on to a singular rope. Like, you know, that. Like, this stuff can't be easy. Oh, this is the area we were coming through earlier. Mm -hmm. We're right, just completely bypassing how... it with these weird 
not telephone booths. Yeah, I bet you she's gonna stumble upon the little girl just as that guy's uh, gonna be like, uh, I'm <laughs> going to sift through your petticoats and see what <laughs> other things you're hiding. <laughs> no, that sounded so creepy. Well, it's so supposed creepy. to be creepy. <laughs> Hey, stop googling on the ground. <laughs> Look at it! It doesn't really make sense. Come on. You, you, have to, you have to assassinate the king. Uh, I'm too busy. I'm too busy being a ground fish. <laughs> way her like lower half just like woogles out to kind of reach for the crown it, it, is it's amazing. It's not even following the laws of gravity. <laughs> She's able to perpetually see what like a four degree angle? No. Come on. Let's get over and save the little girl Look, from the... Look, sometimes you just have to break physics casually and for fun. That's just how this game works, Shell. That is how the YouTubes... <laughs> Operates. I want to. Oh, she rolled yeah. when she hit the hits the ground. Perfect. Uh oh. See, there's the little girl. It was just an apple. I'm hungry. With sticky fingers like yours, I wouldn't be surprised to find more stolen goods under those petticoats. I've done nothing. Come here. I want to see what else you. All uh -oh. right. Help! Someone. Assassination no one can time. you scream in the back of the garden, and even if they did, they wouldn't care. All right, well, that's the extent of it. Right to the ribs. Do you live up in the castle? No, I don't live anywhere, Mom. And my mother died this spring. And you have seen me kill. Yes, Mom. I can't risk you running off and telling the guards of our little meeting. You can trust me, Mom. You're cold and hungry, and you'd sell me for an apple to those guards. But I went ahead and saved you anyway. Are you going to kill me too? No. I'd rather not kill children. Unless I have to. Then, what are you going to do with me? Do you know how to stay very quiet? Yes. If I bring you along, will you do exactly what I tell you to do? Yes, I will. All right, uh, where's the secret entrance? Okay, oh, help you open the gates with levers on both sides. Okay, so she's the puzzle person. Go to the crypts with the girl. Uh. Oh, did the crypts harbor a secret passage into the bowels of the castle? Uh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense though. This is really pretty. I love the music too. Uh, I'm sorry, Nipponichi, but Shadwin is getting love tonight. <laughs> I may go with you, but I don't have to like you. And I'm sure you'd love more of the company of those brave guards. They're bad, but you're evil. How did you grow up with such exemplary morals? My mother taught me all about good and bad. Aren't you a little too old to believe in fairy tales? Mm-mm. 